The fourth part triage is the boss, the Monkozi, the boss of all of us, the boss of all the kings, the Yah of the Yahs, the king among the kings of Israel. All right, the boss is here. The Lion of Judah is here. So I'm so excited, my dear children. The story of the Bible talks about us. Now let's jump into Ya Yahudi. Our people call him Yahudi. That's Judah, also known as Judah. So let me formally introduce this king who's the king among us or the kings. So Ya Yahudi. Who's Ya Yahudi? Ya Yahudi is the fourth son of the patriarchs Yayakuba and the matriarchs Yaleona. Leona, that's her bound to name, which the name Leon, lion, comes from. And who is she? She's the one who birthed the lion, right? We'll get there. So it's important you know their names in our tradition because we are the original people. We are the people the Bible is talking about, so we only, we will have the most accurate meaning of their names, my dear children. So let's continue. Yahudi is the traditional progenitor of the tribe of Yaoundi. Okay, my people. Now, let's go and spy a little, my dear royals of Africa, and see what other meanings other people have for him out there. Shall we? Let's go and be nosy and see what the modern Hebrew say his name means. So the modern Hebrew say Judah means praise the Lord. Now, note that a descendant of Judah or a Jew, because that's what you are or that's who they're supposed to be. In the Hebrew language, he's called a Yehuda, a Yehudi. Now, we even found some other translation of our beloved patriarch's name. We found the Aramaic version of his name to be Yahude, uh, which is phonetically very close to Yaounde or Yaoundi in Kikongo. All right, so let's continue with this amazing patriarch. They say it means praise the Lord. Now, before we go and see what our people say his name means, my dear children of Africa, let's check out the biblical context surrounding the birth of this amazing patriarch of ours. The biblical birth context surrounding the patriarch Yehuda, Ya Yehuda or Ya Yaundi, also known as Judah, can be found in Genesis 29:35. So the NIV version reads, she conceived again and when she gave birth to a son, she said, this time I will praise the Lord. So she named him Judah. Now we have the birth context of patriarch Judah's or Yaoundi's birth. Now let's go and see the meanings, okay? I would like to open a little parenthesis. I know that a lot of fallacies and nonsense had been said about the origin of the name Yaoundi, okay? So I studied with our historian and our elders, our oral narrators, who told us the history of our people. It is important that you learn the history of your people from your own people. So our elders, priests, and historian teach us that in Zulu we say Yehuda or Yehusa, which means the one who is honored revered as the king the one who received the homage and the prestige of the king basically in plain english the one who's the king among you that's the yehuda that's the yehusa and in kikongo we call him yaundi and when the french people came you know they they tried to get us lost so they put an a with an accent yaundi oh we the one because in their languages they have that a and, and stuff like that to give it a French feel. 
so we be lost after they murdered our people, our parents. Who's gonna tell us who we are? So you see the predicament in which they put us and they can come up with stuff like that, call it Yaoundé. No, it's Yaoundé. It means he who is honored, respected, revered as the king among you. He's the Yaoundé. Some of you who have even been in Cameroon know that that's the capital of Cameroon. It's called Yaoundé. So Yaoundé is the same as the modern Hebrew name of Yaoundé. The one who is honored as a king, the one who received the homage and prestige that is given to a king. The same Ya you found in Yaoundé. So in our society, when you boss like that, a Monkozi, eh, we call you a Ya. You are a Yaoundé or a Yaoundé. A person who must be honored, revered as a king or a queen, as a patriarch or a matriarch, as a big brother or a big sister. So that's what Judah means in our Kikongo or Zulu languages. So my dear children, in all the Hebrew sites you will pull, you will never find where they point Judah as the king. They may call him the leader because it was all about stripping us of our royalty. So you see the same people hijacking your identity will never tell you the truth about who you truly are. Yehuda, Yehusa, Yaounde is what Judah means in our Kikongo and Zulu languages. So my dear children, you could clearly see there's a big difference in the meaning because Matriarch Leia making the statement, this time I will praise the Lord, right? It doesn't mean that the name of her child means praise. So the Bible says that she said that this time she will praise the Lord. So the Kikongo version let us know why. The Kikongo version doesn't tell us that, oh, the name of the, the child means oh, praise. The Kikongo version let us know that this woman who the husband doesn't really consider, the husband basically doesn't have time for her, right? But she has been chosen to be the mother of the king of kings, all right? Now, the Most High God, creator of the universe, had looked at Matriash Leah and chose her among the wives of the wives of Jacob to be the mother of the king of kings. This is a lady who basically was regarded as a nobody in her husband's house. Now, the king of kings, the Yah of Yahs, the Yaounde of the Yaoundes, the Most High God has given her a jewel who is born to be the king among his brothers who are other kings. And that's the lineage that Jesus Christ came from. Wasn't it the case? Isn't that a big deal? I think I will say this time, indeed I will praise the Lord. Regardless of the way my husband feels about me, that one I don't even care. I got this jewel here. Oh.